Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really slowly and really easy how to make these beautiful rhombus earrings. They're easy to make and you need really simple stuff, only 11 or 10 seed beads and uh, ear wires. You can find them in any beading store and you could find links down there in description where to buy them from. If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are really simple stuff. I use two colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use ear wires and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And you could use pliers but they are not obligatory if you need to go through the difficult bits and I have links down there in description where you could buy some supplies. Okay and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and in my first step I'm going to take four of these beautiful red beads. Okay I have four on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot just like this And now guys, this is what I have. What I'm going to do next is go through the this red bead here. The red after my knot, okay. And here what I want to take are three golden beads. And as I'm exiting from this red, if you don't see my thread, here it is exiting out of this red one. And I'm going back in circle through the same red bead. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going in my following red. And I'm going to repeat this step. Take three goldens, go back through this one here, like that. Okay, then I exit through my next red one. And I will repeat this step here and here. So take three golden beads and continue the same way. Okay, and the last three goldens. Okay, guys. Now in my next step, I will go around through all of the goldens because I want to connect them. Okay guys, and now I'm here at this angle and what I want to take are three red beads, okay, and go back through this bead at the angle, okay, then through the next two goldens, take two red beads like this and go back through these two goldens. Ok, 
okay now again when you go at the angle you take three red beads okay go back through this one here then in my following step i go through these two goldens and take two more red beads okay here at the angle three reds and i will continue this until the end of this row Okay, and here are the last two beads from this row and like I did in my previous row I will connect all of my beads together from each side Okay, now in, I'm in my next row, which will be golden. And in order to make it, I'm going to take three beads, three golden beads and go here at the angle. This time, guys, I will do an additional step compared to my previous row. Okay. I will take two goldens, go back through these two reds that are next to the angle. Okay, you see, like I did before, but here, because I'm expanding this row, I have two additional red beads here. So I will need two additional golden beads compared to my previous row in order to fill the row okay and at the angle i add three beads okay and here i take two And two more beads because this row is wider compared to the previous one. Okay. And here at this edge, I add three beads. Okay. Now I'll let you do this by yourself uh, off, and I'll do this off camera and meet you at this last step. See you in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my two golden beads. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video and see how I'm making the other two sides and repeat it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go around through all of my beads here. Okay. And I will do this off camera and meet you here to continue. Okay, guys. And I went around through all of my beads. And now you see what I have. And I'm up to this point where I could start my next row. And I think you could guess what my next row will be three red beads like this 
go to the next two goldens, take two red beads, go back here, and if you can, in one movement, go also through the following two goldens. Okay, this time I will add three times two. In my last step, I added two times two and now three times two. Okay, adding those beads here, like this. Two more. And then it comes the angle where I add three. Okay, I, I think you could guess what I'm doing next. Three times two angle, three times two angle, three times two. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last two red beads. Okay, now this is what I have. And I will go around my work reinforcing it and making my beads stay in a nice shape. Okay. Okay, I'll do this off camera and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you how to make your last row. Okay, guys, and I went around all of my, my beads here and I will take... I will start my last row by taking three golden beads, go here at the angle and this time you won't be surprised that I have four times two. Okay, two, 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 and this is the fourth time too. Okay, I'm here at the angle and here I need three goldens. Go back in circle through this angle bit and I will continue the same thing four times two. If you want to make a next row it will be five times two. Have in mind that this work bends a little bit while expanding but i like this effect okay there is a slight bend to it okay and now i will finish this row the same way i showed you here if you forgot how i did it rewind and repeat here here and here and i'll see you in a while okay guys and now i'm going back through these two red beads going back in circle and I will go around through all of my beads in this direction just like this Okay, and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm exiting out of this angle bit and I'm going to take one of my ear wires 
and I will take one golden bead, then I will take my ear wire and one more golden. This is what I have on my needle. And I will go back in circle through this golden at the edge. Okay, now I'm going to reinforce my work by going several times around these beads here. Okay, go two or three times, as many times as you like. Okay, then I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and here I will make a knot. First, I will make a loop and I will go once. Then I will go second time through the loop I've made. I pull, I will pull, and then I will go in my next seed bead and I'm going to cut my thread and my rhombus earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my rhombus beaded earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.